Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Valheim video today where I'm going to showcase a couple of things that I think you might find interesting. First one is a Valheim world generator. This will give you the chance to check out whether or not the seed you're playing on has got bosses in a good location. Traders, boss stones, treasure camps, tombs, troll caves, maples, beehives, villages, dragon bags, structures and shipwrecks as well as uh, the gook and the miscellaneous. Yes, I totally just read off that little list. So we're going to take a look at this, I'll show you the link, it'll be in the comment section if you want to check it out for yourself. And we're also going to take a look at modded maps. Have you ever wanted to be in Europe? Maybe you want to have the realm of Mordor. Maybe you just want some crazy, crazy maps to try and play on. Or maybe even Australia. Good day, mate. Struth, that's a sharp horn you got on your Viking helmet there. Yeah, yeah, I'm here all day, people. Here all day. This is a mod pack that you can pretty much upload a bunch of different mods and there's already some fantastic ones being made. So I'm going to show you guys how to use that too. So don't forget to like, make sure you subscribe for the best in Valheim news, mod showcases and guides and tutorials. Let's go. So there's a couple of stuff like this. I'm pretty sure I've heard of one called Valheim Utility, but this pretty much does the same job. Type your seed in and you can see what kind of stuff it's got going on on it. I'm putting JPG and we're going to see what exactly we've got here. And there you go. Now this is a popular thing. So many games have got these nowadays. We could check out maps and see what they look like. Rust has something very similar. Not gonna lie, I'm slightly disappointed that JPG isn't a wild, crazy map. Maybe if I squint really hard, I might see like an image of a rat somewhere in these islands. It does take a few seconds to load up. But once it's done, you can play around and start showing stuff off. Now, this is really useful because recently it was revealed that a very tiny fraction of players might not have had the Moda boss fight on their map. There was a bug causing issues. Now developers have updated it and give you a workaround if you do think you haven't got Moda on your map. There is a way to load in new areas or new chunks. I'm calling it chunks, I know that's a Minecraft term, but you know, for better purposes, that's pretty much what it is. But this does show all of the treasures. So we're going to test this out. Obviously it's got the treasures right below us, so we'll go to the south in two seconds. Take a look at the camps, obviously they're going to be a little bit further out. One over on that side. Has a few troll tombs as well, maybe even some caves, plenty of beehives, and even a few villages. Now, I realize this won't be for everyone because you know there's some stick in the muds that have to play the game, it's meant to be played. But, like I said, if you're really worried, or maybe you spent ages looking for the trader, but you don't want to necessarily have to go to another map, then this could be a good thing to try. There's plenty of structures and shipwrecks. There you go, apparently, there's a few shipwrecks inland. I'm guessing that's the stone sort of circles. And I guess the obvious one is that's the trader. Oh wow, so the trader on this one is across the water all the way to the south. And finally the bosses. The elder bosses on that island. I've got Elka, I've got two Elkas. Yes, I know I keep saying Elka. Ekla, Ekva. The bloody, bloody dear boss, Bambi. Bomas. In fact, there may be more than one trader. Who knew? The Modo boss is up north. And the Elder Boss is all the way over that side. Yagluf is on there. In fact, there's quite a few. What this is actually good at showing is how many bosses there are. There's at least five bone masses, three Yagluf, at least four Elders, but not too many Modas. Or maybe one, two, three, three Modas. In fact, there's a lot more Yaglufs. But you get the idea. So, whatever seed you've generated, if you want to check something, you've been playing it a while, go ahead and see what you could learn. So we've got good old well generator there. I don't know why I've called it that. Let's put this one down. Jade PG. Alrighty then, let's see what this is all about. And just a little FYI, just in case they've changed how you use commands. If you're pressing F5 and nothing's happening, make sure you've put the hyphen console in the launch parameters in Steam before you launch Valheim. Once you've done that, you should be able to access the console commands again. And instead of I'm a cheater, it is now dev commands. I have explained fully how to do this and what's going on in my news video where I was talking about the console commands being changed. And yeah, it pretty much is a like for like map. We've got this big bay at north of us. We've got one just to the south. And yeah, it is true. It is working out. That's pretty cool. So we can literally teleport to these coordinates. Minus 86, minus 321. Oh, it's worked. Something's working. 
This is where I'm going to fall 50 feet and die. Okay. And look, there it is. That is Ekvar's stone. Right, let's try another one. Let's try a Yagaluf. 6067 minus 1424. 6067 minus 1424. 6067. Apostrophe or whatever. Minus 1424. Oh, I've got a feeling I've put that in wrong. But we're doing it. How off can it be? Oh, just took me to the planes. And I'm going to die. But you get the idea. That was Yagaluf. Just got to be a little bit careful with that zero. You might need to make sure that, uh, yeah, you're landing in a bit of water. So yeah, they're all tools, guys. I know you can just highlight the map, but now you can actually see where the bosses are. If you're really struggling, as always, you do you. Play the game how you want to play. Go ahead and cheat. Just don't cry about it when your world gets wiped. So I've got my Valheim mods folder, as I always do. Maybe create something separate. Save it in there. Extract, as always. Again, I always save it to the same folder, but you can do something different if you want to. Then all you got to do is open up Valheim game files itself, open up the Bepin X, go into plugins, and then put the mod inside. Going to copy and paste that one. As always, if you've got any problems with this, check out my guides that I've done that show you guys how to install the mods. And we'll go ahead and paste it in. So Better Continents mod is pretty powerful. You can do all sorts of things. Change the continent sizes, the shape, use image files as basic height map layer with blending options. Even use an image file to specify biomes. Now that kind of stuff is all just a little bit above my head. But simply, when you're in the game, as long as you've got the configuration editor installed, press F1 to open it, find the better continent section, expand it, edit parameters here. I'm not going to do all that stuff. But let me know if you make some crazy, crazy maps. I'd love to actually download them and give them a tour. So we've got things like Tamriel, if you're really big into the Elder Scrolls. Go ahead and download that one. Not gonna lie, I kinda like the craziness of uh, Summoner's Rift. Let's try this bad boy. We've actually got a Middle Earth map where you can go ahead and try some of them crazy builds you might have seen already. I've showed off the Eye of Barador, as well as Helm's Deep. Yeah, we'll give that one a shot, why not? Los Santos, otherwise known as uh, America. Maybe it's literally just the California. Breath of the Wild from Zelda. More Middle Earth. Westeros, oh yeah, we're, we're Actually, I ain't gonna lie, Westeros looks pretty, pretty boring. But we'll do it anyway. Here all day, people. All day. Now, I'm sure I've seen a Europe one. Oh, we've got the British Isles. Yes, the best Isles. Hell yeah. Ugh. Uh, it's one of these ones. Don't use zip files, people. Not in this extractor business. Just never go through with the purchase, and it should pop up in the files. Now, one good thing about this one is it actually tells you how to put the maps in the actual game, as you still got to do a bit more. Now, to install these ones, you're going to need to go into your local drive, find your users, and it should be somewhere under games or app data. Local flow, or local low. Look for Iron Gate somewhere here. Open up Valheim, and then you've got the worlds. So I'm gonna open up Middle Earth, and you know what, we'll copy all of this stuff off back to the Valheim worlds. I'm just gonna paste this in. Copy and paste all of this Summoner's Rift stuff. I'm pretty sure you only need to copy the database file and the FWL file but we'll do all three paste it back in here Middle Earth yeah paste that one too and Westeros and I guess we've got to kind of have maybe a world one too oh stop using this shitty service people do it without ads again do not pay for anything people it's lies just close it Close it and it should be there. Here we go. Earth save. Back on that one. Jobs are good un. Alrighty, let's boot up Valheim. Okay, so I've got world generate here. And if you've done it right, you can see Westeros is there. 
I do realise my UI is ridiculously small. Middle Earth, whoop whoop, Sumner's Rift, Westeros and Great Britain. You get the idea. All right, let's start. Let's start with some of the more fantastical ones. Westeros. Obviously, I am going to explore the map. Don't worry, people. I'm not going to run through it all just on foot. We'll do cheats. Oh, damn, son. Damn. I quite like this. I feel like it, it's got to have an island, though, with maybe some lava. I mean, I know I know the, you know, the, the Ashlands hasn't been added in yet. I suppose as long as it's got some areas for us to go and try and take out some of the, uh, the bad guys, the goblins. Ah, it's proper, um... It's proper snowy and not very mountainous. Only right up north. Oh, we've got to go right up north and see what it's like. Yeah, we're pretty close too. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Fly, my fools, fly. Okay, here we go. Okay, it seems to be just a wall made out of uh, black forest. It's a bit of a weird strip. Oh no, this is it. This is it. This is meant to be the wall. Okay, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty steep. And it just like runs all the way along. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I can use my imagination a little bit. I've got all sorts of craziness going on here though. Oh my god, look at the size of these mountains. The deep north. Oh shit. Some frozen ass zombie night kings are going to be around this zone. Yeah, good luck adventuring up there. Just to shag Ygritte. Oh man, it's pretty cool. I reckon some people will find enjoyment out of this. Alright, let's try that Sumner's Rift one. This is pretty gnarly. It's really weird. I don't know what it's meant to represent. Is, is Sumner's Rift from some sort of game, book, movie? I ain't gonna lie, I don't like the overview of the map. It just looks a bit too derpy. But I can appreciate someone's took the time to actually craft this. What we need is some water to make something out of the trees. The Isildur trees, branches? I might have said that wrong. I might have said that right. Who knows? Uh, I guess it's a nice sort of flat kind of area, some parts of it. Mm, trying to think of good stuff to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This Okay, this could be good for builders. There's quite a few little hills and stuff, but it's quite a huge, large space here. So, yeah, there's definitely some benefits here. I'm interested to see how they've put this snow in. Like, what are these little stripes? In fact, yeah, it's quite a big, big meadow. So, yeah, builders might really enjoy building here. Oh, my God, it takes a long. Oh, my God. You killed. Kenny. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, maybe not. Just more slate. Come on. Where's the snow? Oh, shit in hell. It just rises up straight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's got to do some blending work there, pal. Just, just saying. I mean, maybe I get the idea. How, what is is that part of the challenge? You're not meant to go this way. I guess you've got to go through the the hole that's cut into the land. Could be good for like an adventure style map. Sort of funnel players along. You hit this without using the cheat for the map. Obviously, the world. You then have to go along it until eventually you come to the right opening. Okay, yeah, yeah, that could work. That could work. With the ultimate goal, I guess, being adventuring all the way down. Or just spending 10 years in the swamps. I'm going to say I don't like this map. I think we get the idea with Middle Earth. Like, apart from maybe going all the way to the, the Molten Zone and seeing Mordor. You get the idea. Let's finish off with the world map and UK. Oh my god! I'm home! I used to be here, but now I'm around here. I think some sweaties up north are going to be a bit upset there's no snow. But I kind of like the attempt here. I really do. Poor Hawaii. I mean, is that meant to be Hawaii? I don't know what this is, bro. I don't know what that is. Some made-up continent. And apparently, uh, if you go to somewhere like Israel and maybe Iraq and Iran, it's going to be super, super hot. Damn, that is a lot of snow. I feel like... I, I'm sure this is probably actually to scale because you know that thing is that every map you ever see always shows your country is bigger than it is or the logistics of the maps and the countries aren't exactly in proportion for some reason. Damn, that looks like a pretty big South Pole to me. And there we go, look, one hop and a skip and you're in Ireland. Obviously, there are some issues with this for sure. The land masses and the way they're kind of just carved and cut into the land. I think that is going to probably ruin a lot of people's immersion. 
Reminds me of like a TV weatherman in the 90s from like Britain. What we need is a proper, proper uh, Sweden. But it's still pretty cool. I'm sure this is going to get refined and we'll start seeing some of these, or a few of these kind of things ironed out and smoothed out as it were. Ah, the best for last. Great Britain. Oh, look at this. We're starting off in a nice daytime area too. I like it. I like it. And, ooh, that's the Pennines, I guess. Apparently we're in southern Scotland. And here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, the detail on this. This, this, is, this is kind of up the street a little bit more. Wow, someone's gone to town. Look at the, it's the proper shapes. So obviously someone has absolutely put in the proper Photoshop or map file image. Look at the Outer Hebrides, it's literally got the mountains and the, the definition there. That is crazy. I'm well impressed, well impressed. Does look a little bit iffy with the River Thames here. It's kind of meandering through a little bit bigger than it should be. And the shape's not 100% right there. But god damn! And at least it's smooth, actually. The land and going around, well, in certain parts of it, at least. Obviously, you've got great big cliffs and mountains. Kind of like it, actually. Sometimes it feels a bit like this might be a little bit, well, I was going to say more realistic. Because over the mountains, it is going to be, like, tough getting to some of these places and stuff. Whoa. Okay. Okay, a bit of a challenge. As a challenge map, getting to some of these places, yeah, that could be really interesting. Oh, man, I've only just got to, like, the tip of Scotland. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go that way. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I guess that's the problem with real world topography. It's not always going to line up completely, is it? Let's face it. It's just not. I remember people doing this back in the day in like Minecraft and stuff. It was always quite fascinating. But yeah, you get the idea. I don't think we're going to make it to London, guys. I'm still... <laughs> I'm just coming up to maybe sort of uh, Manchester or Liverpool. I could technically still be in Scotland right now. But you get the idea. And there you go. That is it. That is how to use a website to check out your own seed and see what stuff you've got going on. And how to use this mod. Let me know what you think about it. What maps are you going to be looking for in the future? What would be cool to see? And are you working on anything right now? Until next time, Rat Bags, I'll catch you later.